you want to make YouTube videos, try to change something, or you'll get demonetized. The year is 2018. It is a time of great innovation and technological advancement. It is also a time of memes and stupidity. I wear my sunglasses at night so I can, so I can keep track of visions in my eyes. Uh, thanks for helping with the intro, Jensen, but let me take it from here. I'm sure those of you who have played the Deus Ex games know just how society and technology works, but for those of you who have never played it or even heard of it, let me give you a quick rundown. The Deus Ex series is set in the not-too-distant future. The 2011 reboot, Human Revolution, a prequel to the original game from 2000, is set in 2027. This is a time period where technology has advanced so much to the point where people are becoming less human and more machine, especially our friend over here, Adam Jensen, who looks super badass. You are some kind of badass? Being augmented sure does have its advantages and can help people perform everyday tasks they may not be able to perform on their own, and it makes it easier and more convenient. But it does have its downsides. Augmented people, or Ox for short, in the Deus Ex universe, are not only hated by so many for not being organic, but also they need to keep taking something called neuropazine, which is an addictive drug that avoids neuroprosthesis rejection syndrome. In other words, it doesn't allow for electrodes to come into contact with human tissue. Getting augmented and getting your hands on that sweet, sweet neuropazine is obviously expensive, so it causes citizens to start rioting against governments and causes so many to get involved in black market dealings. So that's what society is like in the game in a nutshell. Now, can our world actually become like this? Is it realistic enough? Well, let's assess Adam's augs and compare it to what we have already in the real world. And because Mankind Divided gave Jensen more augmentations, we're going to be breaking all of those down. His most noticeable augmentations are his limbs, so let's start with that. His cybernetic arm gives him increased strength and a wider range of combat abilities. It allows him to punch through walls, instantly take down enemies, be able to lift heavy objects up to 110 kilograms, I lift heavy objects. and can handle weapons with much better speed, dexterity, and stability. He even has weapons inside of his arm itself. How cool is that? His legs, on the other hand, it also improves his speed, strength, and dexterity by allowing him to jump great heights and distances without getting hurt or without making much sound. But looking at real prosthetic limbs, as cool as they are, they're not exactly the way they are portrayed in the game. At least, not yet. At the moment, they're primarily being used to replace arms and act just like them. They can not only grasp and hold things, they can make the user feel things too, and they can also learn and adapt with them. Moreover, they can improve people's performances already making them superhuman. This means that I have no doubt that these bad boys will be like the ones in the game within the next 10 years, especially because Square Enix themselves partnered with Open Bionics to build it. Some of Jensen's other augmentations include his eyes, his heart, his lungs, and spine. Jensen's brain has a social enhancer which enables him to analyze people's mental state and a dielectric enhancer which allows him to manipulate and persuade people by being able to identify speech patterns. In his head, he can also communicate with others without an earpiece or moving his mouth. As far as communication through their mind goes, researchers are acting as fast as they can to come up with something similar and they are getting closer and closer to making it come to life, as well as with the bionic eye which is something that they are also coming closer to. Will these things happen by that time? I'm not quite sure, but the rate that technology increases, it wouldn't be much of a surprise. But speaking of eyes, they probably will be able to make those smart contact lenses they've been working on, which will be able to record and store videos in HD. It will be similar to the Google Glass or VR headsets like the Microsoft HoloLens. Jetson's bionic eyes also allow him to see through walls, and I don't see why that couldn't be added to smart lenses, as we already have thermal and x-ray vision goggles. And so far they have developed special goggles for the blind, and we are now seeing footage of what this person right here can see, and she's taking photos and traveling and posting photos on Instagram, and I think that's really cool. However, if you notice, as good as the quality may be, it is not perfect, and, and I don't think it will ever come as close to the human eye. As far as turning invisible or having skin that is more bullet resistant, those are the other things that are being worked on. So far the invisibility cloaks are not quite yet like the ones in Harry Potter, My body's gone. 
but they have figured out that it can work if they bend light around the object using different lenses that they have placed in the correct angles and sequence. And to make skin tougher, researchers realized that they can artificially produce silk from a goat using the DNA from a spider to then make it into armor that is stronger than Kevlar. They are even planning on coating people's skin with it. Problem there is that even though the bullet doesn't tear through the material, it absorbs it, which in turn will cause internal bleeding. So there's that. The last thing in technology of the future that we talked about earlier is the drug neuropazine. Physicists at Moscow State University have figured out a way to make a magnetic field that cools or heats tissue which aids in prevention of implant rejection. So the drug may be possible, but it is unclear how effectively it will work. As realistic as this game is in showing us the future, it isn't quite certain as the future is very hard to predict and we'll never actually know what it's like until it happens, but we like to try and guess nonetheless. So. I think as bright or as dark as the future may sound, it will probably be a blend of both. Sure it won't be blatantly grim with everything always being so murky, dark, and depressing, and sure it sounds like a promising and exciting future for amputees or the blind, for example, but there are negative aspects that may shadow over it. This is because they will never actually come close enough to real functioning body parts. They will become addicts if a drug like neuropathine does get made. And other negative sides like oppression of citizens will be hidden under the beautifiable mask of commercialism and mainstream media like it is today. So are you excited for a future like this one? Are you fearful? Let me know in the comments section below. Remember to smash that like button and if you want to see more videos like this remember to subscribe and ring the bell so you'll always know as soon as a new video drops. Thanks for watching.